Hey everyone, it's Bryson Ralph and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, we're going to do part, only half, of my HR Scale Diesel Collection. So first up here, have my Erie Lackawanna Jeep 40. So yeah, got some nice detail on it. Erie Lackawanna, of course, on the side. 2570 right there radio equipped I don't know if you can see it got that nice horn there so yeah there's that because we're just going to do a video of the looks of some of these locomotives so yeah I want to do all my the GPs first and then we're going to move on to my SDs so yeah in SWs. So next up here we have my um Illinois Central Gulf Jeep 40 here. Very nice detail. This engine is pretty old. So yeah. Not too old, but kind of sorta. Of. Number 9538. There's that horn. And then, yeah, there's the eye on the front for Illinois Central Gulf. I'm going to set it all back over here. Um, we're just going to set that there. We're going to get all the main GPs, and then I'll actually do my two switchers. So, yeah. Now, I don't know what type of locomotive this is, because I don't think the Union Pacific had any G40s. So, yeah. Got whatever Union Pacific this is, number 866, Union Pacific. Nicely detailed, old Bachman set. Whole set, nice silver horn. Of course, it's a Jeevo, so yeah. I'm going to flip y'all back around here. And yeah, there's where it says Union Pacific on the front. So yeah, well, can't really see it because of the thingy, whatever it's called. Now, next up, I'm going to have to get up for this GP because it's too far away. Okay. Now, this GP does not run. Um, I do actually have to kind of use it as a dummy unit. But it's, it is a Penzi Deep 9 very detailed 3d hand railing lit up number boards and coolest part of this is these little flip boards up here on the front yeah. they go down and they go up nice horn cab interior with some people you got the jeep 9 hump there so yeah it's a very detailed unit it's got air brakes and everything, so yeah. Put that to the side. We're gonna stick y'all he over here. Gonna move that. And for the last GP, we have a BN Burlington Northern number 181. Um, and two, that was number 7160. I think it says it on the side. Yeah, right there. But this is. Burlington Northern 818 GP30 unit. There's the horn my by Lionel. So yeah. Does not run though, unfortunately. So yeah. And including no couplers. So yeah. I got it from friends and sorry about that guys. So yeah. Um now for my three switchers. So first up here. Just got a dummy switcher. So we're going to set it on. We're going to pick you guys up. There it is. It's Penn Central 5009. Penn Central. Yes. On the side, there's the PC. Got your horn. Well, used to be a horn there. Got your back coupler. I replaced the front coupler. Then it broke again. So, yeah. There we go. Got all that, and then we'll flip you guys back around. Next up, we have a SW10 or 1000 
or SW500, I have no clue. Santa Fe number 2418, yeah, right there, Santa Fe blue bonnet. So, yeah, this thing does run, but watch out, the wheels on it spark. Because I got this thing from a from the hospice barn up here in Landrum, so yeah, the wheels would spark, so yeah. But it's still a nice model, so yeah. I'm gonna stick that to the side, and I wish I wouldn't have just done that. Okay, now I have one more switcher, and we're moving on. So I custom through the UP31 on the side of this unit with just the little red marker, so yeah. Because it's yellow, and then of course, you got the little realistic couplers, and look guys, this coupler thing go literally goes up and, side, up and down, so yeah, got the little horn there, so yeah, got your little guy there, here, I'm just trying to get y'all as close as I can to him, there's his tiny hand, but yeah, it's a nice locomotive, so yeah. 31 Union Pacific. Flip it all back around. We're going to set that there. I'm being surrounded by locomotives. And I don't like it. Now, next up here, we have another high hood. This is my only Norfolk and Western number 2557. So yeah, right there, NNW 2557. Customly glued the horn on because the horn and bell was over here. They fell off, so I put the horn there. Got Norfolk and Western on the side. Got this, this is an SD7. So yeah, now we're moving on into the SDs. So yeah, nice locomotive. And got it at the antique mall here up in South Carolina in try on for not a bad price so yeah now here we go for the last locomotive i'm going to be doing tonight and it is an ssd my biggest sd and my biggest locomotive i've had for the first time with well this is my first six axle locomotive so yeah it's a gopher rail system 615 ST. Very detailed cab interior. Runs very smooth. That goes up and down. This is an SD24. Made the horn for it there. Got your little bell there, which actually has the tiny little bell thing that makes it ring on the inside. Got the big G. Got all these warning symbols and everything else. This engine is what I'd like to say ultra detailed so yeah when you hear me say ultra detailed that's good so yeah but it's now that that guys we're gonna end the video here so see you tomorrow on bryson the rail fam peace out